Hello ladies and gentlemen, Peter Chow here. Sorry I meant to say Simon here. Oops. First I will be telling you guys about the gigant Y Cabezudos. Oops. Many Catalan festivals exported to the rest of Spain include costumed figures known as gigants y Capgrisos, roughly giants and big heads, or, in Spanish, gigants y Cabezudos. The main feature of these figures is typically their pappy or match head. Bodies are covered in clothing matching the costumes theme. These figures are particularly omnipresent in festivals of Catalonia, where many cities and towns have their own gagants y Capgrisos, used in the Circa Villa and in conjunction with other local dances. The giants are usually hollow figures several meters tall, with a painted paper match head and arms, the rest of the body being covered in cloth and other clothing. Their frame is usually made of wood or aluminum, with Card and Pierre, a mixture of paper match and plaster of Paris, used to make the head and hands. The frame of the body is hidden by cloth, and arms typically have no structural element to allow them to swing in the air when the giant is turned. Dot within the frame is an individual controlling the giant. He carries a harness on his shoulder that is linked to the internal structure, and will move and shake the giant in a dance, usually accompanied by a local marching band. Typically, these dances will include at least two giants, the male gigant and the female giantess, or giganta, though some towns have multiple couples. The figures usually depict archetypes of the town, such as the bourgeois and the peasant woman, or historical figures of local relevance, such as our founding king and queen, or Perso. Caprosos are smaller figures, usually to the human scale, that feature an oversized, carton pierre head. The heads are worn with a matching costume. The person dressed as Cabezudo will use one hand to hold his head, while the other hand carries a whip or pig bladder, used to frighten children or young women. Seeing through the mouth of the head, he will chase after these people, though he might pause to calm a frightened child. As with the giants, the Cabezudos typically represent archetypes of their town. Thank you for listening to my presentation.